Today we're going to be talking about one of the symbols of Italian cuisine. And even if it did not start as a local ingredient, we turn it into something really, really Italian. We are talking about tomatoes. <laughs> And Benny did a lot of shopping I today. I did. I went to the market this morning. Look at this beauty. This is the bullseye. What's no, it it's not bullseye. <laughs> it's the bull's heart. 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 It's the bull's heart. Quarter di boy, yes. And this is wonderful. It's sort of like a steak tomato. Mm -mm. And you slice it up and you use it as, as a steak with a little bit of olive oil. Or like with a caprese salad. And let me finish showing you all the tomatoes I bought. This is one of my favorites. The dates. Battery. These are deliciously sweet. The yellow, what, let me just pull this over. Yeah, just look at this. So many different varieties. Benny, so please. many different varieties, so many different shapes. These we use, these are very firm. These we use, um, we, we stuff them with rice and it's a typical Roman That's summer. That's a typical su Roman, Roman summer, dish. summer dish. These, uh, these are very bittery. I don't really particularly like them, Acidy. but they're good. Acidy, Acidy. and these are from the, the south. Term. Is acid is the correct term. So we eat a lot of tomatoes that are fresh, you know, in, in a lot of different forms, like in bruschetta. I prepared, here, look at this. <clears throat> I was eating a tomato. <laughs> but, like these long ones are great to make tomato sauce, so to cook. And my assistant, please. Your assistant here. And here we've got tomato sauce, which you can use to make lasagna, um, eggplant, parmigiana, eggplant parmigiana, plain pasta, everything. So all these tomatoes, there's so many different tomatoes, they all serve a different purpose and are perfect in particular mm -hmm. recipes. Exactly. And I'll tell you why. The flavor of tomatoes actually depends on a combination of the sugar and the acid in the tomato. So the sugar part comes, it's like glucose and fructose, and the acidy part is citric acid. That is why some tomatoes have like a, a sweeter taste, others a more acidy taste. But I have, I have something really fun, I have something really fun to tell you about tomatoes. Tomatoes are not a vegetable. Though we eat them like a vegetable, they're actually a fruit. And you know what kind of fruit? No. Tomatoes are berries. Because berries stem from a single flower that has one ovary and it has seeds inside. So tomatoes are actually berries. Like kiwis are berries. And I have something I'm going to surprise you. And guess what? <laughs> Bananas. Are Bananas. Berries too. Are berries. Mm -hmm. I have a story to tell you. Believe it or not, tomatoes did not originate in Italy. We have to thank Christopher Columbus and all the other explorers that came after him that actually bought the tomato along with so many other ingredients to the old world. However, when these tomatoes arrived, people did not like them. They thought they were poisonous. They thought they were unhealthy because if they were unripe, they were extremely bitter. If they were too ripe, like this one, they were mushy, and so they didn't like it. And then if they cooked them, they would sort of fall apart. Bon appetito, eh? They would sort of fall apart, and so they weren't much appreciated. However, they, were, they are, because they are beautiful, and they were used in ornamental gardens and in paintings. There are a lot of paintings in still life uh, with tons of tomatoes. 18th century, what happened? Famine arrives, people were starving, the plague, and so it's like, you know, or eat or die, they gave it a shot. And that changed Italian life forever. Tomatoes are a summer produce. There are, there, so we're very much into seasonal fruit. And this is what they look like in summer. But in winter, we don't love to. Can I interrupt you? Mm -hmm. This is a fun fact. So, the smell of the tomato is actually not in the tomato itself. Next time you buy fresh tomatoes, take this stem and go like this. This is where all the aroma comes from, the smell. 
And that's actually, many chefs put that in the tomato sauce as it cooks. Okay, continue. But I'll show you what you find at the supermarket. Benny, please tidy up. I'll show you, because I did this shopping. She did the shopping. <laughs> For once. <laughs> Look. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you say, go get some tomato sauce at the supermarket? Aha. Uh -huh. Which, you think it's easy, which tomato sauce? Look. Ooh. Here. Look at this. So there are many different kind of varieties. This is passata, which is like more like of a liquidy. Yeah, liquidy, I don't like it. This is whole tomatoes peeled. And do you know what they like to do? Not bad, if you get me dirty. Look, you squeeze them and like on your pizza. Oh, this is so, this is <laughs> so nice. Fun. Which is practically this one peeled. Peeled. Then you find little cherry tomatoes now too, that you can make tomato sauce with. And this is the more rustic type. Mm -hmm. Well, since my hands are dirty. Exactly, it's like the chopped one. This and is then pelado. This is something that I love, sun-dried tomatoes. Again, these left to dry in the sun, and these are incredible for cooking. And paste. Paste is to give that extra tomato. Just that little kick to your, like, a little bit. Why do you put it here? You're so, <laughs> she's such a... Anyways, we have an incredible recipe made with fresh tomato sauce. With fresh tomatoes to make an incredible sauce. It's up, it's, it's in the link above. Mmm. Sorry, I'm a little messy today. I have a quiz for you. So when you make tomato sauce, when you make tomato sauce, many recipes suggest that you peel the tomatoes. And you, you would want to use a knife because it's really crazy. There is actually a technique our mom taught us. I, I don't want to give you no. Let's not. Let's too not. many tips. But in the Guess. description below, how do you think you peel tomatoes without using a knife? And you just get the peel off. Benny forgot. She has to say other things. Other. She's always <laughs> eating. <laughs> That's true. You have to subscribe to our channel to get all the new notifications of all our new videos. And if you have questions. Comments below, we answer all the time. And that's it. So you choose your favorite kind of tomato. And just enjoy. And I choose mine. Date. My favorite tomato.